Today we are talking about multiplying and dividing expressions in algebra. Now this is 5.5 in our text. Now I'll just quickly go over a couple of things that you need to remember when we're doing this. Then to show multiplication in algebra, numbers and variables are written next to each other. So we don't use multiplication signs. We just write them next to each other and we know that that means multiplication. Okay, so um, you can see the first example, 7 times A times B times C is written as 7ABC. That means we multiply 7 times A times B times C. Okay, but we don't need to write the multiplication signs. And to show division, terms are written as fractions. So you can see the second example here, 7XY divided by 3XZ is always written 7xy over 3xz when we're using algebra. Okay, so to multiply expressions, um, we can multiply them in any order, but just to have a to have a rule to go by so we can make it standardized, numbers should always be written first and variables are written in alphabetical order. They don't have to be, but um, it is easier if it is written in alphabetical order. It just makes it a standardised way of writing it. So, for example, when we've got A times 2 times B, when we write it, we write the number first, then the variables in alphabetical order. So you should write 2AB. And because it's multiplication, we just write it next to each other, of course. Okay, when we're dividing expressions... Um, when you are dividing any common factor, so the co common factor we could be dividing could be a number or it actually could be a variable, okay? When we're dividing them um, in the numerator and the denominator, they can be cancelled out. So if they're in both the numerator and the denominator, they can be cancelled out. Or if they've got a common factor, um, they can be cancelled out. For example here, we've got 4AB divided by 2bc, we can, we look at the numbers first, so 2 can um, be divided into itself once, okay, and 2 can be divided into 4 two times. Then we've actually got a variable that's the same, so b is uh, in the numerator and the denominator, we can just cancel the b out, because when you divide it by itself, it cancels out. So then we've what we've got left is 2a divided by c. Now remembering we never write 1c. Um, it's always just c. Okay, so really important to understand that because you'll be using that a lot in what we're doing next. Now, first of all, we're going to talk about multiplication. When we're simplifying expressions using multiplication, um, you can multiply any of them together, okay? They don't have to have the same variable. So when we were adding, um, simplifying by adding and subtracting, you need, they needed to be the same, exactly the same variables. But for multiplication, you don't have to have exactly the same variables. You can multiply any of them. All right, so the steps to do this are to write in the multiplication signs. It's a bit weird. We're going to actually go back and write the multiplication signs in. That just makes it easier for us to see um, all the different variables involved and the um, coefficients. All right, step two is to rewrite with all the numbers first, then the variable. So you rewrite um, it in order, with the numbers first, then the variables, obviously in alphabetical order. And step three is to multiply the numbers together then you multiply the variables together. Now this will all make sense when I show you an example. So just write this down please, so you have it in your book. And then I'm going to show you an example to show you what I mean. Alright, so here in the first one we're going to simplify A. So the first step was to write in all the multiplication signs. Now you might think, well they're all done. But they're not because we've got 4A or 4 times A times 2 times B times 3 times C. Okay, so that 
expand it out that's what it actually looks like now the second step is to make sure we put all the numbers together and the variables together so we need to just rewrite it we're not multiplying anything yet we're just rewriting it so it makes it easier for us to see what we have to do 4 times 2 times 3 so that's all of the so we've got 4, 2 and 3 I'm just crossing them off to make sure that I've written them all down and then you just rewrite the variables times A done that one times B and times C and I've done that in alphabetical order they're already in alphabetical order anyway now I can go ahead and multiply them together so 4 times 2 is 8 and 3 8s are 24 so it's 24 and then I'm multiplying A, B and C together well it's just A, B, C so the answer when we're simplifying that expression is 24 A, B, C you can see I multiplied the numbers together but obviously the variables I just um, I've written them next to each other to show that we are that they would be multiplied together Okay, whatever number they um, stand for. Right, the next one. Now this is already expanded out enough, um, as much as it can. Um, so we don't actually have to do the first step. It's already been done. But we do have to do the second step, which is writing it. Um, so we have the numbers first. So 7 times 4. And then we need to write the variables in alphabetical order times Y times Z. Then we can go ahead and work it out. 7 boards 28. YZ. So 28YZ is the answer for that one, simplified. Okay, now when we are simplifying expressions using division, this is a little bit more complex. You do need to understand how to cancel out fractions. And if you don't understand that, you need to go back and revise what I was talking about on that slide so that you can understand this more clearly. Okay, so step one is to write in the multiplication signs, just like we did with the other one, and that helps you spot the common factors that you need to work out. Uh, it also helps you spot the common variables. So step two is to cancel out any numbers, and then you cancel out the variables. Okay, so that's what we need to do, write that down so you've got that, so you can refer to it, and I'll show you an example. Right, so here we go. We need to simplify 8ab divided by 12b. So we need to write with the multiplication sign, so 8 times a times b divided by 12 times b. Okay, so... Now I am going to look at the numbers and see if there's a common factor. So 8 doesn't go into 12, 12 doesn't go into 8, but I can see that 4 um, is a factor of 8 and a factor of 12. So 4 will go into 8 2 times, and 4 will go into 12 3 times. Then uh, A is not in the numerator and the denominator, so we're just going to leave that one. But B is in the numerator and the denominator, so we can just cancel B out. So then we are left with 2A over 3. And that is how we simplify um, using division. Okay, I'm going to do this other one. Um, 18 times... Oh, I've got to do my x a different way, times y, divided by 6 times, and I'll do the algebraic x, so we can tell the difference. Okay, so here, again, I need to look at the numbers first to work out the common factors, if there are any, and I can see here that 6 will go into itself once, and 6 will go to 18 three times. And then we have x as the common factor here in the numerator domain, so just cross cancel them out and it is 3y over well and it's 1 so that actually equals 3y 
Okay, so hopefully that is easy-ish to understand. If you don't understand it, you need to re-watch these examples or come and see me to get some help. Alright, so now it's your turn. See if you can write each of these expressions without a multiplication or division sign. Okay, so you might need to... I didn't really show you an example of this specifically, so um, hopefully you were able to use what you know to work it out. So um, hopefully you had a go, and now I'll tell you the answers. So we need to rewrite them. Rewrite this with the numbers first and then the variable. And then we just work it out. So 4 fives are 20 F. So that equals 20 F. Now this one here, we just have to rewrite it without using the division sign. So this is actually quite easy. We just do 3x plus 1 in brackets divided by 5. And that's all you need to do for that one. Hopefully you were able to work that out. Okay, now this is a little bit harder. You actually have to put into practice what we were talking about. So I want you to have a go at pausing the video and trying these for yourself. Okay, so it's nearly, A is nearly all written out um, with the multiplication signs, except we've just got the little 9D at the end we need to rewrite. So we need to rewrite the 5 times A times C times 9 times D. So remember the first time, you're just writing it out. You're not changing anything or moving anything. You're just rewriting it and expanding it as much as you can using the multiplication signs. Okay, then we rewrite it with the numbers at the, at the front. And then the rest in alphabetical order, the variables. Okay, five nines are 45. A, C, D. You should have got that one. Pretty easy. Now let's see how you go with the division ones. So we can write, we need to write it out. 10 times A divided by 20 times A times B. All right. So 10, we know we'll, we'll go into 20 um, two times and it'll go into itself once. So we can cancel those out. Then we have an A in the numerator and denominator, so we just cancel those out as well. All right, so then we've got 1 over 2B. We've got B left over. Okay, so you should have had 1 over 2B as your answer. I hope you were able to understand what we're talking about here and we'll soon see in class.